Okay. So about the installation. Uh, when you first start installation, you go to uh, our portal, uh, Valor Materials, and you find your product document as you already showed you where they are. And there are also the packages. So Valor Release 113. And you can find installation packages over there. When you are either making a new installations or updating, make sure that you have a correct uh, zip uh, file uploaded. So, uh, pardon back release, this is for online. Um, uh, 16 and 15, you can see it here, our own brand. So, this is for uh, uh, SharePoint to, uh, 2013 and this is for 16. And also, there's a zip file for the uh, SharePoint framework web parts. Uh, about the installation, uh, those partners who has already installed Valo earlier, uh, there's no particular uh, difference in in 13. So it's quite straightforward uh, uh, installation, both in uh, new installations and in updates. As uh, we have provided those. Um, instructions for both of them. So you can in the materials, you can find uh, setup instructions for on frame and O65 and also the update instructions. Uh, those are quite simple step by step instructions. And if you have some point, some uh, uh, you find something that is not quite it should be or you need more info information about something, please Please update us, and uh, we'll we'll update update those documents as 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 soon as possible. Also, there's you can find the push notifications and branding instructions are here. Uh, if we go to installations, uh, as I said, those are quite uh, straightforward, uh, especially with the on-prem. Uh, it hasn't changed a lot, and uh, you can read them more about in instructions. Uh, also though the O65 uh, it's a quite same. Uh, there isn't much much uh, change in there. Uh, in update though there's a couple things that I think uh, it's good to remember because uh, as, as it, some of you already know that I'm I'm answering your support in my emails. So I know quite a lot what kind of uh, uh, questions come from you and problems come from you. So this is something that you need to remember when you are updating. So uh, first of all, there is uh, what Valo Mobile. Uh, it is set as a default uh, true. So if your customer doesn't have uh, or doesn't want Valo Mobile, you have to go set it uh, as a fault in a Genesis file. Uh, O65, as I said, is quite same as before. Uh, update is quite simple. Uh, but what you need to remember is that you down download first the correct button pack. Uh, second, that you make sure that using the correct languages for updating. And uh, thirdly, if there is a custom uh, specific CSS files, make sure that they are also included there. But if you're using a uh, lightsaber follow style editor, uh, then there's no no problem of uh, overriding any any uh, branding uh, there. And also with the teamwork path, you have to make sure the installation URL is correct there. So. If it's something else than teamwork or if it's like workspace or something like that, so you need to see that it's also changed uh, in a uh, in a genesis. Uh, those all uh, what I mentioned here are actually in here in update document. I can quickly show you what it, what it looks like. So there is some before script, and then you need to update the value services, 
a workspace creator admin tool pack. And also remember that in a multilingual environment, uh, you need to do these steps twice or three, four, five times, depends on how many site collections you have in a, in a multilingual environment. Uh, the script takes about a couple minutes, so I was planning to show you how it goes. And I need a username. And there it goes. First of all, you can see I have a current Vala version. The updates are allowed. As you have said, you have to go steps. Uh, if you have now 11, then you have to have uh, 12 updated first and then 13. Yeah, so actually what, what we are doing here is we're updating our demo environment, right? The the site that so yep. many, many people are actually using when showing Valo. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it is actually... Sorry. Closing down that one. Go in now. Not multilingual, well, but follow them up there. So while you are doing the update, you can still open the site and browse it. Does it mean that there's basically no downtime yeah. involved for the for the end users? That's why I'm actually doing this, so you can see how it goes. So you can see there, you can use the whole site even though you're updating this. An update goes there. So what it's doing, it's basically uh, refreshing, replacing the JavaScript files with new ones. Is it also uploading the Azure components right there? Uh, no, this is just uh, just a genesis. So you need to have a script uh, uploading uploading those uh, Azure components. And also, there's a couple manual steps you need to do uh, with the templates. So you have to update the web template, workspace template, and you have to remember. Uh, yeah, now it's updated. So you have to remember uh, if there's some customer specific changes in those templates, you have to have those also uh, updated. And uh, also in a workspace order, uh, there's a workspace type. Uh, it is uh, in a new a new installation. It's it's actually a mandatory. But when you're updating, uh, if you like to have it as as mandatory in a form, uh, then you have to do it manually. But it is, it's a step in a, in our uh, is the, uh, updating instructions also. So let's refresh this. Not yet. Not yet goes through. Yeah, so what Sari is looking for here is that we know that there are certain visual <laughs> changes that are involved with this change yeah. with this update, like the web parts, they will have this like shadow around the web parts and some some something else but obviously there's also a lot of things happening under the hood that you don't even see yeah. uh, just by refreshing a page but yeah it can take a little bit time and you have to yeah. update it here so, yeah yeah but just remember when you're doing this you need to do with the azure uh, you have to update follow services follow workspace creator and if if a client has also admin tools back you have to update that 
there's a script or manual steps uh, in our instructions, so you can do it uh, both ways. Uh, and also with the manual steps, uh, updating web templates, workspace templates, uh, 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 lists, uh, especially if you have older version list of news, uh, it can be, uh, it, it can cause some problems there. So please update those lists also. But as you can see, it's uh, Genesis took just a couple minutes. The update found two minutes. So that, that's quite quick uh, procedure. And if you take a look at our manuals, so here you can find actually uh, follow services uh, script. So what you do, you open up uh, set up Azure and you only upload application to Azure and what this uh, script does is actually uh, updates the file services, workspaces and management tool back. So it's quite quite simple but you can do it manually uh, that's 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 fine uh, what you prefer. There's steps also in here. So quite simple yeah, so as a summary, correct me if I'm wrong, Sally, but updating updating an existing customer's Valo environment to this new version is really uh, a matter of minutes in the most cases. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I made it with some, some uh, uh, updating to your environment where there were uh, customizations made uh, to templates and to lists and also with the branding. And it took about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. Yeah. But basically, the the genesis took only two minutes. So it's up to manual work what you have to do with, with the rest. 